Hey everybody, welcome back to Three Generations Restoration. We're gonna be changing it up today. We got ourselves an auction video. It is a pretty big Alice Chalmers auction, so if you're interested in the Alice Chalmers tractor, you'll really like this video. Um, my dad went and did the walkthroughs of the tractors, so I'll kind of be doing a voiceover on what we saw and what's there. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so we're at the auction here and you guys can kind of see that this is more in a downtown area. This, these tractors are actually located in West Chicago and this is an auction that is going to be online only. So to start off, we got ourselves an Alice Chalmers M crawler. Uh, it's actually a WM. It's got street pads on it, PTO. Um, and this tractor, the entire machine was said to be rebuilt, and you can kind of tell just by looking at it. There's another tractor there that we'll get to. Um, but just looking at this 1M, a lot of the bolts were taken off and redone. You can see that the manifold was redone. So nice tractor there, and this is what it sold for. The next one is another Alice Chalmers M. This one's got a dozer on it. Uh, another WM with hydraulics on it. Uh, this one doesn't have PTO. It's got different grousers on it. Uh, that's what that one, this is what this one sold for. Uh, here is probably the best Alice Chalmers tractor at the auction. It's another M. And this one's in immaculate shape. You can see the paint job here. Um, in complete restoration job on this one as well. So this one I'm assuming is gonna bring pretty good dollar. And uh, starts and runs, rebuilt engine, new side panels. So kind of see all the details about this tractor were hit. And you can see PTO there. This is what this M sold for. Next up is uh, Alice Chalmers WD uh, Propane. It was converted into propane to be lot three. Uh, this tractor runs and it runs on propane, so it's got a different carb on it. Uh, it looks like it's got decent tires on it. Um, kind of a weird setup with the propane tank on the front, but they did what they had to do. You can kind of see right, right underneath by the intake, the weird carburetor. This is what that sold for. This is an Alice Chalmers WF tractor. This one here, I believe, yeah, this one runs. This is lot four. Um, it runs okay. It's got some decent tires on it. Nothing to be too too proud about. Um, you know, it's just a Alice WF. Looks like it's missing the heat box cover on it on the manifold. Um, tin's, tin's pretty straight on it. It's got a kind of unique front, um, front rims. But this is what the WF sold for. This is a Alice Chalmers D10, uh, Series 3, Lot 5. This is another one of them tractors that was immaculately restored. Three point, um, hydro live hydraulics, PTO, wide front. I mean, this tractor's got all the bells and whistles. I'm expecting this tractor to bring a lot of money. So this is what this tractor sold for. Next up is a Alice Chalmers I-400. You can see that front tire is bald. Uh, this tractor here runs as well. It only has foot throttle. You can see here on the tag, hand throttle is not hooked up. Um, lot six. So, looks like a fair tractor. Um, needs a little bit of work, so you can see the foot throttle there. Um, Tires are okay, like I said, the fronts are bald. Yeah. Rims are okay, the rims, look, rims are pretty bent up on this one actually, but overall pretty straight looking tractor. Uh, yeah, you can see right there, 
or you know all the all the beaten up rims so this is what the i400 sold for next up is a alice chalmers d14 and this one has a three-point grader blade back or uh, actually it's a snap coupler grader blade i'm, I'm used to saying three-point uh, looks like it's got a little rim rot but nothing to be too concerned you can kind of see the snap coupler uh, blade those are really sought after really nice blades too if you can find them really good tires on this one you can kind of see there's no weather checking it looks like he's checking out what the other rim looks like um, pretty fair shape and like I said it runs and this is what it sold for so next up is a d15 Alice Chalmers with a loader on it a this is a series 2 on the tag uh, this one runs as well it's kind of got that monstrosity of a loader on it which some people do like yeah, it's got an Alice 415 on it um, rims are pretty rotten nothing got a hole in them yet but they look like they're filled with fluid um, just your typical D15 with a wide front it's got the spin out rims on the back uh, loader so you know it's kind of wore out this is what the D15 sold for next up is a Alice Chalmers D70 yeah, D17 and this is one we labeled as ball peen because it looks like the front end was t taken and beaten up with a ball peen hammer you'll kind of see what I'm talking about it's got pretty good tires on the back a uh, little bit of rust a little bit of rot around the valve stem on the one side uh, it's got like the I would say the two-point hydraulics um, wide front um, like I said it runs pretty good the only thing that it really needs is cosmetic work and you'll kind of see right down there right up on that nose cone it looks like someone took a big old hammer to it this is what the d17 sold for next up is a alice chalmers tractor motive kind of loader i would i would say look at the size of the cylinders on that thing um this one runs as well and it operates supposedly uh this one i, I honestly don't know a whole lot about so you can see a mag there uh, there's the serial tag, a track, track tow motive made Deerfield. Uh, this is what it sold for though. Next up is an Alice Chalmers WC Speed Patrol with custom hydraulic lift and a lot of customs on this thing. This one we were told that the engine was pretty wore out on. Um, the intake manifold had a hole in it. Uh, it's got power steering you can see there tires on it are fair um, to be expected for a grader they're obviously mismatched um, but you can see that this hydraulic setup is totally made up and it's not factory uh, so this is lot 10 but it also has a rigged up alternator on the one side you can almost i think he'll show it but um, yeah there's the serial number wc just pretty much took an Alice Chalmers WC tractor and made it into a grader. There you can see the alternator kind of just rigged up on some metal. But this is what the grader sold for. Next up is an Alice WD. It is not a WD-45. Um, this one here is tired is what it said on the listing. The engine is tired. So um, this one here Oh, it is a WD-45. You can tell by the shifter handle. This one here has got some, you know, rotten rims, as you can see, that tube is showing. But it's holding there, so that's what kind of matters to at least get it on the trailer. Uh, it be lot 11. So, you know, not much, too much special on this thing. Uh, this is what the WD-45 sold for. You can see that other rotten rim there. But overall, not a bad tractor. This is an Alice Chalmers RC. Uh, this one here runs, runs good. Uh, this one looks like it was restored to a while back. It's not one of them other kind of restorations. This is one where it looks like it was restored a while back. 
Um, you don't see a whole lot of these around. They made a lot of them, but you don't really see a lot of these around where we're at. Really good tires on it. Looks like brand new tires on the back. Um, so that's lot 12. Uh, yeah, so nice Alice Chalmers RC here. Kind of see how long that shifter handle is there. Um, kind of can't really read that tag, but it says 12 volt negative ground and kind of gives some details on the tractor. There's the serial number, RC1542. Um, so yeah, this is what the Alice Chalmers RC sold for. You can kind of see there's the heat box cover. Next up is a, another Alice Chalmers WD45. Uh, this one's in really good shape. Brand new tires on the back and on the front. This looks like it was one of his um, Expo tractors that he would take places. And uh, it really, it, you can see it's got that 50 year tag on it, although Alice Chalmers had been around for longer than 50 years. But yeah, you can see the condition of the tires on it. Pretty dang good. A little bit of rim rot, but you know, if it's got chloride on it, that's to be expected. Chloride is the worst for tractor rims. So this is lot 13. Uh, you can see pretty, pretty good job restoring this tractor here. And it does have a dirt scoop on the back, on the snap coupler. Looks like you can get maybe a yard, half a yard of dirt picked up. Honestly though, that's better than a shovel in a wheelbarrow. I'll take anything. This is what that sold for. Next up is a Alice Chalmers WC. Just a plain old WC. You know, it's got good tires on the back, decent on the front, tins pretty straight. Not much to say about these. They're pretty straightforward WC tractors. You know, as long as they run, you know, they're worth anywhere from probably $700 to $1,400. Um, and I think this thing here actually went a little high. I'll give you the sell price here in a bit, but see it's kind of missing the rear light. Um, it's got that gauge, instrument gauge cluster there. Uh, manifold looks to be in good shape. This is what the WC sold for. Next up is another Alice Chalmers WC. This one here is another runner. And this front tire here has blown out. We always say that the tire is about to have kittens if they're getting ready to blow. Well, that tractor tire did have kittens. It looks like it already blew, but they filled it up. It holds air enough to get on a trailer. Uh, rims on the back are okay. Tires are fair. This one looks like it was restored a while back. This is lot 15. Um, this one looks like it was restored maybe 20, 30 years ago with the paint job on it. Pretty straightforward WC though. Uh, it's got the World War II era rear end on it where the differential cover is welded on. This is what the WC sold for. Next up is uh, another Alice Chalmers WD. This one has power steering. Um, pretty good tires on this one on the front and the back. Looks like it's got, you know, matched, matched tread on the back, which is always good. This one's got fair paint, I would say at best. This one runs. Um, kind of see it's got a little bit of that rim rod again, but what tractor here doesn't. Uh, you can kind of tell the, the paint condition. This is lot 16. Um, pretty straightforward uh, WD here. You can see it's got the hydraulic lift there on the back. Uh, ooh, pretty big gash in the rear tire. That ain't no good. That tire is about to have kittens. You could slap a boot in that and call it a day, but looks like it has a little bit of rot there on the one rim. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it did have some wheel weights on the back. This is what that WD sold for. And we got another WD. This one here is a, probably one of the worst ones out of the bunch just because... Oh, we're showing... Oh yeah, yeah, that last one's lot 16. Um, this one here is the next one. This is another WD. This one is nothing special about it. Run of the mill WD. Tires on the back are shot. Looks like the one's holding there, but 
from what I heard, this one tire that is right here is completely shot. Um, so it's got the toolbox on it. Uh, it's got a pinhole in the radiator, so radiator leaks, that tire's shot. Um, you're going to need to put in a significant amount of money just to even get this thing worthy of being able to drive and use. This is what it sold for. We got another run-of-the-mill WC Alice's here, unpainted. This one's in her work clothes. The first one that really truly is original paint. You can tell that it is original paint. Uh, this one runs and it runs good uh, for being how it looks. It, it, you know, you wouldn't think it would run, but pretty good tires on the back. Um, looks like there's a big old dauber nest there. Um, fenders are beat up, but as to be expected, this is what it's sold for. And it is, looks like he's going back. This is lot 18. We got an Alice Chalmers UC, similar to the one, we, uh, it's exactly what we have at, at our shop right now that we're working on, that we can't get running. This one does supposedly run. Um, they were... He was shown a video of it being pull started. Um, tires on it are good. They're better than the condition of our tires. Um, this one does have a starter on it, but here's the thing. Looks like the head gasket leaks on it. And the biggest thing is there's a big crack in the block. That is pretty typical of the Alice Chalmers engines there. Always look right behind the carburetor and that's where the crack is. Um, but nonetheless, it runs and it doesn't look like it leaks out of that crack. I would probably grind it out and patch it and, and run it. But pretty straightforward Alice Chalmers you see here. Um, it'd be nice if we could get ours running, but nonetheless, we might bit, we're going to be bidding on this thing and see if we can't get anything. Um, but yeah, this is what the Alice Chalmers UC sold for. See, it's got PTO on the back too toolbox all right into the shed all three of these trackers in here are locked up the first one here is an Alice Chalmers U so it's just a standard model of the Alice Chalmers UC uh, brand new tires all the way around it's got immaculate tin work on it but the engines locked like I said this is lot 19 um, really fairly good looking tractor i think this thing will probably bring a lot of money just because of how good the bones are on this thing and how good the tires are you can see we're looking at the tire size seeing the 14924s so not a too common of a size but nonetheless you can see it's got that almost cockpit-esque seat on it um you know i guess you can tell the condition of the tires a little pulley on it uh, mag and I do believe this one also has the same crack in the block which we didn't highlight this is what the U sold for we got a locked up Alice Chalmers WD 45 with really beefy tires on the rear and they're in pretty good shape too uh, I don't think there was any rim rot this is lot number 20 the fenders on the back look pretty decent a little bit of rod on the one side on the right hand side when you're sitting up in the seat um, this would be a mechanic special um, for some reason I think this tractor is gonna go for a lot of money just because of the tires so this is what it sold for finally we got a Dallas Chalmers WD brand new tires on the rear good tires on the front this one here is also locked up seems to me that all the tractors in this shed in the back were locked up um but yeah this is what this alice chalmers wd sold for uh, well i hope you guys enjoyed the alice chalmers auction video we lucked out didn't get anything everything was pretty high priced i thought there were some locked up tractors at the end that were going for too much money i thought a lot of people bidding from kentucky and michigan so a lot of people traveling kind of sucked this was an online only auction i like in-person auctions better you can see them uh, they start them all that kind of stuff but nonetheless 
you win some you lose some i really wanted one of the malice chalmers crawlers but they just went for a lot of money and uh i'm not willing to spend seven thousand dollars on a crawler that's just going to kind of sit and and uh, be on display when i can find one for cheaper than that and work on it myself but nonetheless thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more maybe we'll win another auction find eventually but not this one <laughs>